Hi everyone, my name is Renee. Today I would like to tell you about a tragedy that occurred on April 17th, 2013. Um, an explosion occurred in the city of West Texas, which is uh, about two hours from Dallas, Texas. This is a picture of what the town looked like before the explosion. As you can see, um, this fertilizer plant was located very closely to a middle school, a playground, a nursing home, and a high school which uh, is really crazy considering um, that the biggest fertilizer explosion was the Oklahoma bombing. This is a picture of the blast radius from the plant. Here's the core of the fertilizer plant and you can see that it reached all the way out and a very large portion of the nursing home was destroyed. Part of the high school, or the, I'm sorry, the middle school and the hospital were also destroyed. This explosion in itself destroyed 37 blocks in the area. The Dallas Morning News on April 23rd reported that 15 were killed and 200 were injured. Uh, of the 15 killed, 12 of those were first responders and two were citizens. One was a resident at an apartment complex that was located nearby. The other was a resident of the nursing home that was uh, destroyed in the blast. Very, very tragic situation. Part of uh, one of the, the number 15, the person that was killed last was a, um, actually committed suicide just over a week ago as a result of issues and problems that occurred as a result of the blast. The, a lot of the injuries that they're seeing and those that were killed or that were injured are um, glass injuries like glass in their eyes and their skin throughout their body from people that were in their homes when the homes exploded and glass from the windows uh, just shattered into their homes. Roofs were listed, lifted off the houses. It was phenomenal um, the injuries and the damage that, that was caused. What we're finding now is that a lot of those injured have post-traumatic stress disorder as a result of the blast. Some that don't have physical injuries are being found to have these brain injuries, post-traumatic stress disorder, and blast-induced neurotrauma. Uh, these are very, very severe which injuries, which as a result, like I said, the one individual just recently committed suicide as a result of these, uh, this incident. The causes of the explosion have yet to be determined. There was an investigation by ATF and the Texas Fire Marshals that lasted over a month with hundreds of interviews taken and witnesses interviewed and um, lots of information collected. The, the results of the investigation was listed as undetermined. <clears throat> the things that they could not rule out were a battery that caused a fire, uh, it was a battery in a golf cart that possibly caused the fire. Also, uh, electrical issues they couldn't rule out. And um, also arson, someone deliberately setting fire to the fertilizer plant, which ultimately caused that explosion. According to the Government Executive Magazine article on June 3rd, the Chemical Board is continuing their investigation. The Chemical Board is very upset because they were shut out of the investigation completely by ATF and the Texas fire marshals. They weren't allowed to participate in the investigation at all, although you would think that they would be because they're the chemical board and obviously the fertilizer plant was, uh, the fertilizer plant contained chemicals that were probably mixed together to cause this explosion. Uh, the chemical board will be looking into safe storage and handling. Uh, for the, for the products that were inside that building to see if there were, uh, look at the regulations and that type of thing to see if this could have been prevented. Uh, speaking of preventions, uh, there are alternatives that could have been taken to prevent this explosion. Uh, alternatives such as regulations, having stricter regulations on, on the um, in the fertilizer industry. As far as we know and research has uh, shown that the fertilizer industry is very 
um, is not very regulated. They have, um, they're, they're not closely regulated. No one keeps track of who has what. They don't have to report to anyone. There's just no, there's a very strong lack of regulation there. Also, uh, alternatives would be alternative products. There are products that are being used overseas right now that uh, it's the same fertilizer, only it's, it's um, coated with a protective coating that will keep it from getting so hot that it does eventually explode. Um, so that's just a little bit of the history of the tragedy of April 17th, 2013.